This is Steve with AAA Sales and Services, your Amsoil dealer. And what I wanted to do right now is uh, do a simple experiment, a burn test to check for soot uh, with two of the uh, popular um, Amsoil additives here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to compare the obvious soot uh, level that's given off from these products uh, compared to the XP3, which I ordered. I don't know, I do not have the XP3 product yet. I've never personally had any in my hand before. So I ordered it yesterday morning for the first time. And uh, I will be adding it to the fuel on my bus, which is treated uh, in the maintenance ratios for the injector cleaner from Amsoil. And it's also treated um, with the uh, cetane boost for a seven point boost. There's a chart on the back that shows a three point or seven point ratios. I always put in the uh, two ounces per 10 gallons um, or 16 ounces per 80 gallons. So, anyway, um, for seven point boost. So, um, without further ado, I got my. Uh, some cotton swabs here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn it uh, against this white background and uh, see. Like first, we're going to do the injector cleaner. I put a few ounces. I put like I don't know, four, two ounces, two ounce. Yeah, this is a 16 ounce bottle. I put in two ounces last night when I got 10 gallons of diesel. Uh, but all I'm going to do here is get the get the uh, Q-tip wet, I think. Did it get wet? Yeah, I got it wet. Okay, now I'm going to burn it right here. We're going to see. Look at that. Soot. Okay. Now that's the injector cleaner. Uh, let's stay. Oops. Shit. Top heavy. Put the cat back on that before we make a major boo-boo. <laughs> All right, so we did the uh, diesel injector clean. That's supposed to clean your injectors. But this this stayed like a uh, my glasses are messing with me here, like a golden color uh, residue. And uh, I want to set that right here to compare to the next one. So that's number one to the right, the diesel injector cleaner. Now we're going to do the C tame boost. And uh, see, see what the uh, soot level is on that when it burns. Yep, I got it wet. Let's go ahead and put the cap back on it so we don't spill it, make a serious mess. Okay, here we go. That burns clean. Uh, interesting, very interesting. C team boost burns very clean. I'm going to do another one just to be on the safe side. Uh, I can smell the C team boost on, on the Q tip. So uh, I'm going to try another one just to make sure. I'm going to step out uh, here in the sunlight. In case I spill a little bit here, but I'm dipping it right into the bottle. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting it in the in the, uh, the fluid there. It's definite, definitely uh, thoroughly saturated. And uh, we're gonna do that burn test one more time. So this is Amsoil Cetane Boost. That burns nice and clean. Very clean. So it'll be, that's 950 a bottle. And um, the other test I want to do is uh, to see if these, um, like remove water from uh, fuel. So that's another test. 
You can see that's a different color than uh, Cetane Boost. These are the two Cetane Boost Q-tips I burn. This one actually melted the um, plastic Q-tip. The fire melted the plastic Q-tip. But uh, this was the diesel injector cleaner uh, Q-tip, and this is the two Cetane Boost Q-tips that I burn. Definitely a different uh, residue at the end. So that's good to note. There's no fumes being given off from the Cetane Boost. And there was significant fumes or soot being given off from the injector cleaner. All right, I hope that helps. We'll uh, post another video when we get the XP3 product in and we'll get some test tubes and uh, compare the uh, water absorption. Uh, I've got some uh, water finding paste here that I picked up at Tractor Supply. This particular one goes from uh, uh, brown paste turns yellow and green if it finds water. Now another one out there turns red. It's like golden color and it turns red. This one goes from brown to yellow green.